So the topic is light. Who do you know about light? Whenever we want to see something, it is the light energy only which when is incident on any object and gets reflected from that object and we see the thing through our brain. So it is the light energy which makes the things visible. So basically light is a form of energy and to explain this energy Newton proposed the corpuscular theory, then there came Maxwellian equations, and then dual nature of light, and then the quantum mechanics. All this keep on explaining the things, and all these things are based upon the natural phenomenon which we have already observed. And to explain those natural phenomena, we devise certain theory. And on the basis of that, we keep on explaining the things which we have observed. Okay? Now, your syllabus starts from reflection and refraction. What is reflection? Reflection, basically, when light is incident on any surface, it rebounces back, it returns back in the same medium after striking on the surface. This phenomenon of coming back, of bouncing back, of returning back in the same medium after striking at one particular point, any point on the surface, it is called reflexion. Okay? Reflections are of two types. One is regular, one is irregular. If the surface is having irregular face, rough face, then light incident here, it goes here, light incident here, it goes here, light incident here, it goes in this direction. Okay? These are the incident ones and the other one are the reflected ones. So here, no regular pattern is observed. That's why it is irregular reflex. But when the surface is smooth, when the surface is smooth, then we get regular reflex. Okay? So we have got the reflex. Reflection, it is a plane meter. You can see a plane. So we have got reflex. Okay? Now, reflection, if reflection we have got, then there must be certain laws of reflection. Okay? The laws of reflection, it says that the, yes please? Yes. First of all, this is point of incidence where the incident ray meets the surface, it is called point of interference. Point of incidence. Point of incidence. So, at this point, on this surface, one perpendicular is drawn. This is called normal. The angle between this normal and the incident ray is called angle of incidence I. And the angle between the reflected ray and the normal is called R angle of reflection R. Okay? So, law of reflection says that the incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal drawn at the point of incidence all lie on the same plane. This is one plane and they all lie on the same plane. This is the first law. And the second one, the angle of incidence I and the angle of reflection R both are equal to each other. So that is, 
I is equal to uh, angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflex. So this is your laws of reflex. Okay. Now in our syllabus we have got the mirrors reflection through spherical mirrors. Okay. So can we imagine one sphere, big sphere of glass? One portion of it, if we cut a small portion of it, and it behaves. It is a curved one. It is a big sphere, and a part of it, if you cut, then you will get one surface, one structure like this. Okay. And if the reflecting surface is a dipped one, the inner surface is the reflecting surface and this surface is known as concave surface and hence the mirror will be concave mirror. But if the reflecting surface is this one, then it will be convex mirror. I will show you when in the lab, I will show you what concave mirrors are there and convex mirrors. Okay? So basically we have got two types of mirrors, spherical mirrors. They are concave and convex. Okay? Now you see. What type of mirror is this? This is the reflecting surface this side. It is concave. concave. And this one? If incident ray is this side. Okay? Reflected. Reflected ray is this side. What type of mirror is this? This is convex. So this is? It is? Okay. So certain things, certain definitions are there which we must have to consider first. Mirror. The center point of the mirror is known as hole. Right now we have told you the sphere, the biggest sphere has got the small part as your mirror. So the biggest sphere must have got one radius. That radius is known as the radius of curvature. Radius of Curvature. Yes, this is the radius of curvature. I will show you how to find out the radius of curvature. You see, you have considered this to be one big sphere and a part of it to be the mirror. It has got center here, it has got the pole here. So this is the suppose mirror. This is this is what type of mirror will be this? Concave. Con convex. Convex because reflecting surface is that side. So this is called the radius of curvature. This is center of curvature C. Okay. So the biggest sphere of which the mirror is a part. The biggest sphere of which that mirror is a part, the radius of that sphere is known as radius of curvature. And the center of that sphere is known as center of curvature. Okay. Now the next thing which we want to see right now. The concave